episode, shall we? To taste a life, to embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden, such a divine. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tickers. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, so we have a new character here. Oh, back, back, back. Yes, Tippets, Mr. Tippets. Okay, my mesmerize level is level one. So let's go into the Doctor, hospital where have here. you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. <laughs> okay. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician.
And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The whole thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. What can I do for you, Doctor? Yeah, there was one more. What kind of man is Doctor well, Let's uh, explore it, because maybe we will get a hint. It's right to assume Doctor Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Okay, so... Thank you, Nurse Crane. Let's go to the second floor. Have a rest. Hello, mister. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Okay. Ooh, la, 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 la. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is alright? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped from the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Let's buy Good some evening, shotgun Lord. shells. Good evening. I'd like to see wise choice. Yep. Good. 
Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Okay, this is the first floor and then we need the second floor. Not This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. The flower's dying. It needs water. this Let's equip the shotgun. Oops. Let's use the sword and the, the shotgun. Let's see what we got here. So let's see what I can craft here. Um, let's analyze. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. about it I'm gonna confirm these have a good night's sleep
Okay. Looks like the institute is healthy. I'm to stay here until my research is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yeah, but before I answer the door, I want to check out exactly. I'm not going to make wait, Doctor. I've patients to attend. What's up, honey? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Let's go to the garden first. I would like to eliminate the threat there. Okay, 
Ooh, candy. Scow voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. like about uh, using the weapon and not the other big weapon that I've used before this oh is that I can't stun them but let's see hello boys welcome back to Mythic Gaming my name is Roland and today you guys will die I have to manage my stamina also I wonder if the head of the man shows me uh, other vampires. What does it mean? Well, it just disappeared. Okay. Let's continue with the. found the wallet of the driver okay yeah let's finish that secondary mission first where is that guy Can I find them? They should be here. Not here anymore. There you are. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, 
As a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. I don't want to eat this guy. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. Okay, let's go back. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Please show me. Of course.
It's locked, all right. It's locked. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. Fortifiers, <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective, but they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. 